Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Grace and I am the creator of Satin Aroma Home Fragrance Company where I sell wax melts. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I have been testing out candles because eventually I'll be selling candles as well. Um, but as of right now, my main thing is wax melts and candles are coming soon. So in today's video, I want to show you guys exactly how I make my snap bar wax melts. Let me go get one real quick so I can show you what they look like. Okay, so these are my snap bar wax melts. Let me come in closer. Okay, so this is what the wax melts look like. Um, most of the wax melts that I do when I make them like this in the snap bar form, I do um, kind of like a marble two color effect. Um, so this is what they look like. Okay, in today's video, I'm not going to make the wax melts two-toned or two colors. Um, I'm just going to show you the basic steps of making the wax melts, so I'm just going to use one color. If you want me to show you how I get that marbled effect or just kind of the two-toned wax melt, let me know in the comments down below and I can make a video if that's something that you guys are interested in learning how to do. Let me show you exactly what you need to make these wax melts. First up, most important thing, you need some type of tart wax. I prefer Golden Wax 494. I think it's probably the most popular one out there. It works really well. I have no issues with it. One reason why I really like to use um, Golden Wax 494 is because you can find it anywhere. A lot of candle suppliers stock this wax or sell this wax. So if your regular supplier is out, you can find 10 more suppliers that sell this. So you'll never run out of it. All right, so that's the wax that I like to use. Next up, in order to get the shape, the actual shape of a snap bar, you need to use, or I use, these chocolate molds you can find these on Amazon. That's where I get mine. Next, you need some type of fragrance oil. Today, I'm gonna to be testing out this fragrance oil from Midwest Fragrance Company. It's called Honeydew Coconut Cream. I've never used any of their um, fragrance oils, so I decided I would just try this today since I had it um, in my candle studio. So, some type of fragrance oil. You also need something to check the temperature of your wax. I like to use this. Um, I like to use a little pipette to measure out my fragrance oil, especially when I'm working with small amounts. Um, I find that using a pipette is really easy and helps me to measure out small amounts of fragrance oil. You also need some type of mixing pot or mix something that you can mix your fragrance oil and your wax in. I like to use these measuring cups that I get from Dollar Tree. I also use um, just a little glass. You can do like a shot glass or just something to measure out your fragrance oil. You'll also need something to stir with. I like to use these little wooden, um, wooden sticks then if you are coloring your snap bar you need some type of colorant i prefer to use mica powder i do have um like liquid dye i do use liquid dye as well but my favorite is mica powder because when the wax melts in your warmer it gives it this nice shimmer and this just it just makes it look really nice as it's melting so i prefer to use mica powder when i am coloring my wax melts. Also need a scale to measure everything. You need to heat your wax. So I'm going to be using a Presto pot, but if you do not have a Presto pot, then you can use a the do double boiler method to melt your wax. So those are all of the things that you need in order to make these wax melts. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with measuring out the wax. So 
for these chocolate molds here, I like for my snack bars to be two ounces each. So in order for them to be two ounces each, I need, and I'm making six of them, I need 300 grams of wax. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure that out. I have the wax measured out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the Presto pot so that it can melt. While that melts, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my fragrance oil. So I'm gonna take this glass that I like to use to measure my fragrance oil, put it on my scale, zero out the scale, and then I'm gonna measure out 36 grams of fragrance oil. That is 12% fragrance load. Now you can use whatever fragrance load that you want to use. I use between 10 and 12% fragrance oil. Sometimes I use 10%, sometimes I use 12%. It kind of just depends on the fragrance itself, how strong the fragrance is, if it's a lighter scent or a stronger scent. Um, but today I'm gonna do it at 12% fragrance level. My fragrance oil is measured out. I'm going to go and stir my wax so that I can make sure it doesn't get too hot because it just takes a long time for it to cool down when it gets over 200 degrees. So now I'm gonna go and measure out 300 grams of melted wax. So here is our wax and our fragrance oil ready to go. Um, everything else is super simple, like making wax melts, it's fun, it's, it's easy to do, um, and it's just, a fun like little hobby or crafting thing to do. Um, so now I'm going to wait for this wax to cool down um, to about 185. That's when I like to add in my fragrance oil. While I wait to add my fragrance oil, I'm going to go ahead and color the wax. Um, like I said earlier, I like to use mica powder. When I add in my mica powder, I don't measure it out. I just add in however much I want to like I don't really have any system or method I use to determine what color or how deep I want the color to be I just kind of go off of what I'm feeling so I think this looks good I really just kind of add a little bit at a time and if I want it to be a deeper color then I'll add more mica powder or I'll go in with the liquid dye and then add that as well so as you see this is a green color all right so we're at the right temperature i like to add my fragrance fragrance oil in at about 185 so we're going to add that in and stir for two minutes i do stir for two minutes to make sure that the fragrance oil and the wax are combined together. So it's been two minutes. I like to pour my wax at about 160 degrees. So between 165 to 160 degrees, that's where I like to pour my wax into my molds. And I am the wax is 162 degrees, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour. Um, you just pour it right into the mold. A nice, steady, even pour. And if you've done your measurements right and measured everything out right, then you should have six two ounce snap bars. So it's 
been a little over an hour. The snap bars have been cooling down um, and they are now ready to be taken out. So all I do to get these out of the molds is I just pull at the mold like this around the sides just to loosen up the snap bars. And as you see, they're already coming out. So they easily just peel right on out. And this is what it looks like, okay? So let me take the rest out. And here's another one. So once again, these are two ounces each. And like I said, you can like get super creative with these. You can use glitter, use different colorants, use dry florals. There's so many different things that you can do to put a creative twist on your snap bars. But this is how you make them. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down in the comment section below. In my next video, I wanna show you guys the different ways that you can package your snap bars. I have many different ways that I package these. So I just wanna show you guys the containers that I use and where I purchase everything from. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.